It's about an 18-year-old girl who goes on a, an extraordinary journey of becoming queen overnight. Your Majesty. You're getting to find out about this young, vibrant, vital girl, really. Luckily, she met Lord Melbourne, who was her prime minister at the time. I don't think she's really ever had an ally, and suddenly he appears as a prime minister and gives her a voice and lifts her in a way, and, and she trusts him. You are the queen of the greatest nation on Earth. Surely you understand what is at stake here. It's the story of her journey, learning to be queen in the public eye. Tiny Victoria, you know, because she was four foot 11, surrounded by these tall men, and she somehow manages to dominate by the extraordinary strength of her personality. What can a girl like you possibly do to serve her country? I know that I'm young, but I know my duty. I love the scene when Albert's fencing and Victoria comes to kind of take him on, I think, because there's such a, a bravery in the emotional honesty there between two people. When I marry you, it will be as an ordinary woman, and I will promise to love, honor, and obey you. But I am your subject. People don't know how unapologetically vivid and vibrant and romantic she was. She's funny, she's warm, she's bad-tempered, she's stubborn, and I think she's just a very human character. She kind of had such a strong will that it's what makes her who she is. From now on, I wish to be called Victoria. Queen Victoria. <laughs>